Hello all, this is JC3 from Is This Real? Do you want to start your own podcast? Then look no further than Buzzsprout.com. We here at Green Hour Media use Buzzsprout, and we love the team at Buzzsprout. They are all about helping you succeed. Buzzsprout gets your show listed in every major podcast platform. Follow the link in our show notes to let Buzzsprout know that we sent you. It gets you a $20 paid Amazon gift card if you sign up with a paid plan and help support our show. Join us and over 100,000 podcasters already using Buzzsprout.com to get your message out to the world. Live from the Keith Vincent Kayla Studios in Patterson, New Jersey, Green Hour Media proudly presents Is This Real? Tonight, we are looking at the Jesus and Mary Magdalene connection. Was there something there? Was there a child? Were they married? And now here's your host, JC3. Welcome, 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 everybody, to another fantastic episode of Is This Real? Is This Real? And as Anthony said, or Tony, whichever one you want to call him, at the beginning, uh, we're talking about Jesus Christ and his alleged quote-unquote relationship with Mary Magdalene. Uh, is, Is it real? Who knows? But in the booth tonight, as you can see on TV... We have Sito in the place of Big Joe today. Big Joe's not with us today, so Sito, say hello to everybody. Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Uh, we have Mr. West in the booth with a, a booth with us tonight. Mr. West, say hello to everybody. Konnichiwa. Okay, you got to talk that low now after screaming in the mic before. Oh. Damn right. Uh, in the place of Roadblock tonight, we have Tony. You heard him before. Anthony, say hello to everybody. What's up, what's up? And you have me. You're welcome. So, gentlemen, we have a full booth tonight with us. Uh, so we're talking about Jesus Christ and his alleged relationship with Mary Magdalene. Who is this woman? Mary Magdalene. Very good Good question. Uh, Anthony, do you want to take who's Mary Magdalene? No, no. You can take Mary's Magdalene because I'm going to take things later down this episode. Uh, okay. So Mary Magdalene is... Uh, I thought well, she was... That's, is, that's not the mother of Jesus? No. The, nope. that's, that's the Virgin Mary. That's the Virgin, yeah, Virgin Mary. There's two Marys. There's two Marys. There's several uh, Marys yes. in the Bible. There's it a keeps, lot of Mary. Keeps Mary, popping up. Yeah, okay. The Mary... That's the confusing. Just, that was a Mary, confusing Joseph, um, that Joshua. Know? These are all biblical names that will co- keep on yeah. popping up in the Bible because this is the time that these names were very, very, very popular. Uh, so uh, Mary Magdalene was, um, I believe she was uh, a, cl- the closest thing to an apostle for Jesus Christ. Like Allegedly. Uh, allegedly. She followed Jesus Christ around and apparently the... Story behind Mary Magdalene itself was that she was uh, again alleged that she was a woman of the night. That is a supposed theory that okay. she was. And if you know, everyone knows what a woman of the night is, right? I don't have to go d- deeper detail into that. No. She was a whore. I was gonna say that she was throwing the OnlyFans back then. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yes, she was the creator of OnlyFans. That's exactly what, what that is. You got was. your first star right there. right? Jesus Christ, you people. Anywho. Um, but yeah, so she... Uh, so she was, an, so she was a, an apostle? She was the closest thing to an apostle without being an apostle. But like, well, hold up. Now, is she written down in these books? She has her own... She is in the Bible. Mm-hmm. She has her own gospel that was never put into the Bible. Ooh. I didn't know that. Yeah, Mary Mag- the Gospel of Mary Magdalene. Anthony, you have something on that or uh, the Bible verses? There's a lot of Bible verses that include Mary Magdalene. Um, one of the ideas of Mary Magdalene is that she was maybe not a woman of the night or maybe someone was possessed. There's, there's an idea that that was... Spun. If if there is truth to Mary Magdalene being Jesus's partner in a uh, romantic sense, then when the people who sat down put the Bible together, very wisely, if they want to keep his um, divinity intact, they make they paint Mary Magdalene to look like a prostitute. That way, it throws it all off. But there's a lot of things about Mary Magdalene in the Bible. Um, like she was, she was at in John nineteen twenty five. 
it says that she was at the cross of Jesus. Um, at the crucifixion. At the crucifixion. Yeah. Right. So we know that she was there. If the Bible is real and the Bible is true, let's just take it from there. Then, yes. Um, Mark she, six, she, she, she was there. She was there. She helped take down the body of Christ. Mark 16, 9. It says, now when he rose early on the first day of the week, he appeared first of Mary Magdalene, for whom he had cast out seven demons. So she, maybe she was possessed at one point, but she was also um, the first person to see him after the resurrection. Um, Luke 8, 2 also yeah, so said that, that, she, that said pretty, seven demons were cast out. That's pretty crazy. Hold on. Let me, I, sorry, I got to just it's No, say, it's all right. That's pretty crazy in the fact that, like, if, if there if, – we're going to put into context that it's saying that he came to her first. That's really wild that they didn't ever, like, emphasize, like, anything on her. You know what I mean? Yeah, Luke 8, verses 1 through 3. Soon after her, he went through the cities and villages, proclaiming and bringing the good news of the kingdom of God. And the twelve were with him, and also some women... And also some women who had been healed of all evil spirits of, and, and infirmities. Mary, called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out, and Joanna, the wife of Chusa, Herod's household manager, and Susanna, and many others who had provided them out of their means. So these are the women that Isn't traveled with them to take care of them. Is it wrong that in the back of my head right now I have the uh, uh, dun, 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 music playing? I don't know why Africa is playing in the back of my head. That's really fucking that. weird. Why, uh, why would you say that? I don't know. It, for, when you were reading that, yeah, it just, just sounded like a, a verse. The, if, if, you, if you take the Bible as truth, uh, then there's several things in the Bible from different Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. They all say that Mary was first at the tomb when Jesus was well, resurrected. I have another Gospel right here that has uh, a little closer thing. The Gospel of Philip. That's interesting. Uh, the Gospel of Philip says... Uh, that Philip. he referred to Mary Magdalene as Jesus's koinonos, is, and that is a Greek term for companion or partner, mm-hmm. and is depicted as being closer to Jesus than anybody else. In exchange between Peter and Mary, he admits to her that the Savior loved you above, above all, all other women. A tense moment in stri- uh, scripture that seems to portray the jealousy that the other apostles might have felt for Mary's uh, often but some... Uh, sorry, for Mary's relationship with Jesus. The other evidence used to support the theory is a mention of Jesus kissing Mary often, but some uh, say kissing was the custom, as it was typical of Jesus to practice it with those close to him. What kind of kiss, though? Like, Jesus could go around kissing people, but is he? how is he kissing? It doesn't say it. And COVID. also, the gospel, according to Philip, that's not in the Bible. That's one of those... One like, of not, them, yeah, yeah that's, it was rejected. It's anything that showed... Anything that showed Jesus in a more humane way was rejected from the Bible. If you go by the Bible and you just believe what is there, you believe that Jesus was intact, uh, his divinity was complete and undisturbed. He was never someone who took a wife, which is why a lot of priests don't take wives now in the Catholic faith. It's because Jesus was pure. They must be pure. Ironic how they're banging little boys, though. Well, that's a whole different topic, but yes. <laughs> they take okay, a vow of celibacy. What the fuck, bro? But, yeah. It, there's a lot of things that, if you look at the Gnostic Gospels and even the Gospel of Mary Magdalene, it tells and paints a much different story than the official account. Yeah, a lot. Account. It's, it's a very Wait, what'd you What'd you call it? A, 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 a Gnostic? Agnostic. Ag- Agnostic? No, Gnostic Gospels. Yeah, Gnostic an, Gospels. Gnostic, Gnostic? Gospels. G N, hold on. Not agnostic. No, no, no not agnostic. That's a religion. No, so, it's not a religion. Well, agnostic is the religion. idea that I don't know what I believe. Yeah. I'm too. Someone put it best. I think this is the best way of saying, like, summing up what agnostic is. I am naive enough to understand. I'm naive enough to know that. I don't remember how it goes. I'm not vain enough to think I'm the only thing on this universe, but I'm naive enough to understand. I'm not even enough to believe there's something else out there. Something like that. It's the idea of, like, I don't know what to believe. Bro, you sound as straight like freaking Pythagoras or something like that. <laughs> Pythagoras? Okay. Well, the Gnostic Gospels, there's the Gospel of Mary, Peter, Judas, Truth, and Thomas. And that's partially. And the Gnostic Gospels were found... So you don't say the G. Right. You don't say the G. Okay. They, were, they were found much later on. They were buried... That looks a lot... In, in There's a there's an image that Cito's pulling up, but right now that looks a very... Um, 
like very mysticism. It looks a, a lot like um, mm-hmm. kind of Kabbalah, like. Yeah, it, it's well, it's very much. Well, and someone, I'm, I'm just reading this article from. Uh, it's called CoreChristianity.com, and it's you know the one the one fact is well not fact one statement that the guy says. <coughs> The fact that none of the four Gospels say that Jesus was celibate. They do not acknowledge that he was celibate nor non-celibate. Yeah, I well... Mean, you know, so they, it's like, it's a lack of, you know, saying anything. German. Sure. I, well, but again, you're I painting mean, him to be a divine person. Yeah, he's a, he's a divine person, like, but you just said it right there. He's still a person. He's above though. human needs and human nature as the Son of God, as someone who is divine. So he doesn't need, you know, to get laid. Because he, all he has to do is pray his horniness away. Uh, that is that. Is, okay, yeah. Uh, okay. So, so my another thing that they said is rabbis then as now are married. If Jesus wasn't married, someone would have noticed. That's also true. But do we consider Jesus to be a rabbi? Well, they called him rabbi. They called him a rabbi. I don't yeah. say maybe that's something that was left out of the Catholic faith because I never heard well, of course, Jesus as a rabbi. If 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 you go in, uh, if you think because if you think about it. What Jesus was pro- was pro- was proclaiming was still was something new, but in the sense they were all still Jewish. Yeah. So they still oh, sure. all, so they all still like kind of believed in the old traditions of Judaism, which is something that Jesus was always uh, was always preaching was. Um, I don't like that keep website the, keep, name. Keep the Sabbath. <laughs> I don't like. Okay, so Anthony searched up "Is Jesus a Rabbi?" and the first thing that came up is JewsForJesus.com. dot <laughs> com. It says Jesus was considered a rabbi in his day, but uh, by the only sect that used the term. But exactly what kind of rabbi was he? Where did he agree and differ with theology and other rabbis? So, who knows? Well, like, the, you know like what I mean. But okay, he wasn't so, acknowledged. But he wasn't acknowledged by uh, by, Ju- okay, by, yeah. Ju- uh, by Judas priests. They're also back saying back Judas priests. Judas priests. Yes. Yes. Or Judaism. You know? What's that Jude- Jesus fellow doing? Breaking the law. Breaking the law. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it says, uh, though Jesus was called rabbi by his followers, there is no indication that he held any formal official office. Uh, his followers office. addressed him as such simply because he was their teacher. <laughs> he carried his certificate in the glass frame everywhere he went. Well, no, because, what, no, what they're saying because when you... It was placed right next to him at the cross. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> Y'all are fucked up. Oh, God. They hung it in the tomb before they moved the rock in, in oh, front. God. Jesus Christ. Help us help us all. Yeah, the we should put a little about. counter up on the video of how many times Joey goes, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Bing! Just went off again. Yeah, heathenous activities. Bing! Well, we don't know. Like, again, everything with the fucking Bible is about interpretation. Yeah. Did they interpret that Jesus was a fucking rabbi? Then he was a rabbi. But does that mean he's the same kind of rabbi as we understand what rabbi is to be today? Yeah, because... Who the fuck knows? Yeah, because if you think yeah. about it, he was preaching something different from... Jew, from the Jewish faith, but and he was just called a a, a, ra- a rabbi because they knew that those were like you know the people that was preaching spiritual leaders spiritual yeah. leaders yeah so he was the rabbi of his reli- of mm-hmm. of what he was preaching I don't, like photo. I don't like that photo either it's a picture of Jesus Christ winking like ew <laughs> okay it's kind of the closest thing to Kevin Smith's Jesus Christ I've ever buddy seen. Christ yeah buddy Christ which is heathenness in his own right. But, you know, there's, again, there's... That's the uh, one where he's going like this? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait for that movie. But, um, yeah, so, I, I don't know. There's a, a... But back to Mary, like, so... Yeah. yeah. There, there's... Ma- Mary, there's a lot of things with Mary that you go through the Bible. And the way they talk about her, especially from the point of view of these apostles, uh, uh, there's... it's they. I'll be honest, it does sound a little jealous. They do sound a little jealous of 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 Mary and and how they talk you know talk about her in the Bible. I mm. I guess I guess so. I on, honestly like I'll be I'll be very honest with you, man. I, I never really like read the entire Bible, I, so I can't sit here. Right. And, and, I scanned a couple. Like I, I'm not going to sit here and read the entire Bible. Like that's just not. I did I, the audio book. I hate you. Shut up. Charleston Heston read it. It was great. Well, okay, I was going to say, was the voice at least interesting? It was Charlton Heston. I don't Do you know, know who, who Charlton is. Heston is? I don't know who that is, I just said. From the original Planet of the Apes movie? Uh, <sighs> you damn dirty apes. Wow. 
No. Let my people go, you damn dirty pharaoh. He played uh, Moses. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Taking wait, wait. context of the movie, guys, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you bring up something. T- check context, right? We're talking about the Jesus Mary Magdalene connection, and it got huge in 2006, 2007, because of the fucking book Da Vinci Code. And we will talk about that when we come back from break. Okay. Okay. Hey, everybody. This is JC3 speaking. If you want to learn how everyone here at Green Hour Media is behind the microphone, then you want to check out Cafe Talk with Cito. We talk about a variety of topics from video games to our own personal beliefs. So if you want to learn more about us, be at your computer June 1st and listen to Cafe Talk with Cito on all podcast streaming platforms. We'll be back after a quick break. Hey, Ryan. Hi, this is Sarah Palin. Ryan Donald Trump Jr. Hogs to win, see you. Hey, everybody, I want y'all to check out a fellow Marines podcast. My name is Ted Nugent, and I got a call from my buddy Ryan F. Samuels, and he wants me to tell you that he's a working hard, playing all-American son of a who is celebrating God, family, country. Welcome to the Ryan Samuels Show, one of the top political podcasts in the United States, where we have a healthy distrust for government and mainstream media. The Ryan Samuels Show is a raw, unfiltered look at American politics. Hello, hola, konnichiwa. I have a very important question for you. Is this real? That's the motto of our weekly podcast. We question everything from the paranormal to conspiracies, even the extraterrestrials. There's no topic we won't dive into. So tune in and listen to our show every Sunday at 8 p.m. And remember, folks, question everything. And we are back. Now, we were just talking about uh, Mary Magdalene and Jesus Christ and their supposed relationship. And then there was a movie based on, well, book first, then movie based on mm-hmm. it by Dan Brown, uh, called The Da Vinci Code, which Eric has only seen once. Cito, how many times have you seen The Da Vinci Code? Have you seen it? I was probably, like, what, seven when I seen it? you all same. Something like that. You are literally almost ten years older than well, he is. Well, you know what? I was probably, like, seven at heart. <laughs> Jesus oh, Jesus Christ. God. <laughs> yep. Another kind of for Jesus Christ. <clears throat> but have you, like, seen it since then, or no? No. Nah. No. Not even Angels and Demons, the second one? No, nah, they made no. a second one. Maybe. Yeah, there's there's three books out there, right? <laughs> there, no, no. There, the, the book you were talking about, the, the Da Vinci Code, is written by Dan Brown. And Dan, Dan Brown, Brown... Yes, Dan Brown does a wonderful job taking history and paintings and statues and works of art and weaving a fictional thriller through those things and tying ancient conspiracies, and it's all pivoted around his main character, Robert Langdon. And Robert Langdon right now is the main character, I believe, of five or six books, hmm. the last one being Origin, Angels and Demons, Da Vinci Code. Uh, the, uh, it's not the Solomon Key. It was the original name for it. Um, lost Key, isn't it? Yeah, the Lost Symbol. Lost the Lost Symbol. symbol uh, that was set in America. You have Inferno, and, and you that have was a prequel, Origin, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. And yeah. you have Origins. So that's five. If there's another one, I'm forgetting. It, it is what it is. Yeah, but the problem, the, the problem with with Dan Brown, all, for some reason, it all kind of correlates. I mean, not it, all. It, it, it's Dan. It's Dan it's Brown about, verse. It's yeah. It, it's it's it's, it's Dan, all. It's, Dan it's the Brown same verse. character. It's the same character in all of his books. Robert Langdon, Professor Robert Langdon from Harvard. They, they're wonderful books. I enjoy them. They're fun reads. And that professor. I have I the have them all. The problem with him is he starts every book with a little page that says fact. The paintings here are depicted accurately. The works of art are depicted accurately. These societies are real. Blah 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 blah, and that's a problem. Because you're saying right off the bat that this book, the things that you're about to see in this book are true. And that's not the case. What he does is he takes these things, these works of art, these historical things, and he... Well, they're true works of art. They are true works of art. But he weaves a story through them, and that's not true. Which, to me, that's that's incredible in its own right. Oh, it is. Absolutely. That is a fantastic way of doing it. It's the work of a great story writer. 
But the problem is when you look at, okay, when you're lying down on the grass and you're looking at the stars, you can make pictures out in the stars, right? That doesn't mean that those stars are there to make that picture. You are forcing an image out of what you're seeing. That's what he's doing when he writes this work of art, when he writes his books. He's taking these ancient societies, these secret uh, places, these ideas, these works of art, and he's writing a story, he's connecting them, and they're very, very loose. They're not, what he's doing isn't ac actually accurate. If you want a more accurate book that deals with Mary Magdalene and Jesus, the book is called The Holy Blood and the Holy Grail. It was written in 1980. It was released in 1982. There's documentaries, BBC documentaries about it, and it's written by uh, Michael, Michael, Bajent, Richard Lay, and Henry Lincoln. And the whole thing with that is, they believe that Jesus married had Jesus had married Mary Magdalene. They had children, one of whom the name was Sarah, and Sarah ma married into. Uh, what would become the Merovingian line of kings in France, and that Jesus Christ has a descendant, and, and there's descendant is royal blood. Yes, and the and there's a there's a actual thing out there called the Priory of Sion. They're a secret society, and it's speculated not that, that not secret. only the, huh, not that secret. Well, well the shit they do is yeah. secret. It's like you you know there's Illuminati, you know mm -hmm. there's there's. You know, all these secret societies, but you don't know what the hell they're doing. Right, and the Priory of Sion supposedly guards the true secret so fuck me for trying to what the me. Holy okay. Grail is. <laughs> That's what it all comes down to, the Holy Grail. What is, from your guys' experience and not understanding, what is the Holy Grail? West, what do you think the Holy Grail is? What do I think the Holy Grail is? You've heard about it. It's part of folklore. It's the, the Raiders of the Lost Ark, Indiana yeah, you Jones just shit. say a cup, I'm going to throw something at you. No, 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 no it's no, okay. No, what no, is no, the Holy Grail no, from no. your understanding? From my point, from my, to my true, honest to God understanding of what the Holy Grail is, I believe that it is the Philosopher's Stone, which is also just a key to just immortality and just a, uh, a, uh, 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 where it also unlocks a part of your brain where Jesus, where you cr uh, accumulate Christ consciousness, where you're on the same type of consciousness and wavelength that you can do the same type of things that Jesus Christ does. That is what I think the Holy Grail okay. is. All I right. swear to God. Sito, what's your take on it? Deep. Do Yo, you understand it? Or, yeah, it's like, no, it's like, I, I understand it. Crazy thing is, right? You don't believe it. I'm not that far off. No, no, no. Whether he no, believes it or not, what do you okay. think it is? I have two sides. I believe I it and on. I don't. I don't mean to take over hosting duties, but this no, is no, something no, I've done fine. a lot of research in and I like. Yeah. Go ahead, Sita. So I believe it and I don't, right? I would, If I'm going to say I believe it, it's pretty similar to him, besides Philosopher's Stone and all that. But, I, you know, when it comes down to it, I think the Holy Grail itself might be just another way to represent Eden. Especially in the old stories, you know, the Apple of Eden, you know, knowledge and all that. Mm -hmm. Maybe some kind of form yeah. representation of that. Okay. But there's the other side of me where it's like, I don't believe it at all. Gotcha. Joseph, what's your understanding of what the Holy Grail is? Well, I mean, it's not really an understanding. I mean, it's... What do you think the Holy Grail is? To me, it uh, I, I can believe that it could be something like this. Because I'll be honest, I do believe... That it's just a cup? No, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I do believe that... that Jesus was not celibate that you know Jesus did have a family because if you look at the you know the the teachings and stuff like that he's mm -hmm. talking about you know love your family and stuff like that be a good person and you know to me it, it never I never understood even though I am I am catholic to sit there and go well you know if we're we're going to we're going to teach future children but if there's no like if you go based on what the catholics do there's no you know Pre, uh, there's there's priests and nuns that can't have children, so there's no future Catholics to t teach. So I n never understood to me about any of that. So I I do believe that Jesus does have. What the uh, fuck are you talking about? What is the Holy Grail, Joe? <laughs> if you listen to what I'm fucking saying before you cut me off, it's teachings. Is that what you're trying to say? No, it's it's Jesus's bloodline. Okay, okay, that's what I was getting. To okay, me, fuck. For for those of you playing the home game out there. What the Holy Grail is. It's not a power stone. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, it's okay. Uh, Everyone's listen, interpretation listen, is listen, fine. It it's not, not a problem it, with it. It's the final be, gem to the infinity gauntlet. No, nah, it may, listen, you know it, may not be, it may not be a stone. <laughs> it may not be a stone, but it may, but it is, it 
is the type of consciousness that Jesus was on. That okay. is that is confirmed for a fact. Okay. I know that for how what fact? My facts, motherfucker. Now, what Jesus it's Jesus' the, drug of choice. That's what it was, right? What a lot of people think nah. the Holy Grail was was during the Last Supper, Jesus took a cup, yeah. filled it with wine, held it up and said, This is my blood, drink it, right? That chalice that held the blood of Christ is the Holy Grail, right? Mm-hmm. And the thing is... It's, so, so you're trying to tell me that it's just a cup? It was a cup, not just a cup, a cup a that held cup. the blood, blood of, of Christ. Christ. A special Same cup. thing of the Shroud of Torin that uh, you know that wiped the away what? Jesus. When Jesus fell during his uh, march to be... Fell, right? Yeah, I think so. Third. When Jesus was marching to be crucified... There was uh, a woman who stopped, and I think it was a woman, who cleaned his face. And Jesus' face left an impression on that shroud, that, that parchment, that fucking hoodie. Who knows what it was? That piece of cloth. Yeah, the band yeah. t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> so, the Shroud of Torin, that's Jesus what it's called. Jesus Tour circa 33 <laughs> AD. It's, it's a holy relic, Asshole. right? The shroud of, the Thorn of Crowns. It was his tour shirt. Um, oh, my God. The, the spear that pierced the side of Christ when he was hanging on the cross. These are all holy relics associated with Jesus. So something. Have uh, we found any of those? A couple Supposed. of things, but it's nothing to be verified 100% that it was Jesus. You can't run a DNA test on the fucker because we can't say it. Can't, you can carbon date it. You can carbon date it, sure, but who's to say that that DNA is definitely Jesus? <clears throat> the only way to do that is to have a living descendant. Now, yeah, but also with carbon dating, you can't really get genetics. I'm not talking about genetics. <clears throat> I'm saying like if this is, you know, yeah, you could get something that's from this time, right? You know, but it makes everything like it, again. He's yeah. right. It I mean, might get a little convoluted solely because the fact that remember who did this and during that time or where was it at? Exactly, they did it literally every other day. So, the Holy Grail, for most people out there who understand what it is, it's 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 a chalice that was used the Last Supper to hold the blood of Christ. Yeah, but in the, but in the sense, isn't it isn't aren't people idolizing a cup? No, no, it's not that you're idolizing a cup. It's just like, hey, this is like, it's part of the Jesus collection, the Jesus Fall lineup. It's one of those things that no, no, I'm not trying to be an asshole, but like, it's an it's an artifact associated with yeah, the You ever see those infomercials on at three o'clock in the morning? <laughs> Are That's you a ex- Catholic? That's exactly what he's saying. It, here's the, here's why it's so important, right? <clears throat> it's a symbol that Jesus existed. Not just a symbol; it's a physical symbol. It's proof. It's something a Catholic can hold up and go, "This, this right here, held the blood of Christ," and you can't deny that, right? That's what the meaning of it is. What this book Imagine did. Imagine it's in my book bag, and I just be like, <laughs> "Oh, you mean this? This old? <laughs> yeah, most definitely. This old wooden cup? No, it's one of Dad's mugs." <laughs> I mean, this? Hold up, I got it. It's... We'll be back after a quick break. Hello, nerds. Come listen to the History Nerds United podcast, and let's make history fun again. We interview today's best authors, whether they are established Pulitzer Prize winners or someone debuting their first book. Let us show you that history is not a boring class you took in high school, but a place where the best stories come from. And we don't just cover history. We also love to chat about true crime, biographies, memoirs, and so much more. So head on over to History Nerds United and let us introduce you to your new favorite book and learn the story behind the story. History Nerds United. This. Wow. What, the, what this book does, Holy Blood, Holy Grail, it looks into the idea of what... The Holy Grail could be, and if it was misinterpreted, not even the Holy Grail could be. It's just, it's literally just a way for the people to just stamp what? and say that the Bible is a hundred percent accurate. Because True, this, because this, because we well, found not a hundred percent accurate. Like, not no, but it, it, it it's it, another it will, thing. Of proof. It will show the, the, it, the proof of Jesus Christ. It's not. Ju- it's another thing of proof. It's another piece of evidence to say, yeah, look, we have He's this real. too. Yeah, but he what was. else? But let me ask he you is. a question. He is real. I guess you could say that. Let me ask you a question. What else holds blood? A human body. These nuts. That's just wrong in the Jesus episode. Sorry. I think if that's the case, you need to go to a doctor. (laughs) (laughs) True. Yeah, if you're coming blood. (laughs) Um, A womb. Okay. So I'm not that wrong. So and 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 what in the shape of a womb is what? It's shallow. Anything can hold blood if you try hard enough. Well, anything can hold blood, but like a shape of a womb is like that of a chalice, isn't it? It's like a cup. It's short tall sides it's 
in the shape of. It's a womb. It's a. It's a. It's where a baby is. Now, now he's going pagan on me. No, so, no, a second. Okay, we're, so we're not, not, not sure going to get into this conversation. I'm not sure if you're. No, 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 no. So we're not, not going to go into this conversation. But my point is, no. they interpret that the blood of Christ did not matter if it was in a cup. What does this have to do with this woman? I'll tell you, because if he knocked Mary Magdalene up, that means the blood of Jesus lies within her womb, which means that it proves that Jesus had a child. And if they could prove out there that there is a living descendant of Jesus. Jesus Christ, the fucking Catholic Church would shit the bed. It would destroy everything the Catholic Church teaches. Because the Catholic Church teaches that God, that Jesus was celibate, that Jesus did not have a wife, Jesus did not sire children, Jesus was divine. And because he was divine, he is above man. And if you can knock Jesus down a peg and say that not only was Jesus a man, he fucked like a man, he had children like a man, that would shatter the image and the divinity of Christ. And when you put one chink in the armor, one chink, huh? you can sit there and rip everything else down. You question Jesus. Right now, Jesus' divinity in the I eyes like of the Catholic Church. Going. In the eyes of the Catholic Church, Jesus' divinity is pure. <clears throat> yeah. Because he is the son of God. Okay, and this is just the Catholic Church. This is just the Catholic Church. But if you could say that he's not just the son of God, but Jesus was also the son of man. Mm-hmm. That questions his divinity, and it undermines well, the teachings of the Catholic Church. Well, to me, and it I don't ne- want that. I, I never, they don't want that. I never understood that. You because just said you don't want that. You're on their side. No, I, 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 I misspoke. They don't want that. I, I, I don't understand why they would sit there and want not want something like that. Like that. To me, well, I just said it. It would undermine. No, I understand that. But divinity. what I'm saying, it, 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 to me, that just makes him more. Uh, at least in the eyes of me, uh, like a, a Catholic, mm-hmm. it, w- it it makes him more relatable. It makes him more oh okay. Jesus it makes him more him. human. Yeah, and you could sit. I could sit there and have belief in someone. You don't want human when it's your Messiah you're talking but about. But you can though. Well, this is your interpretation. This is your opinion, right? Yeah. To millions of people out there, yeah. millions of people out there, Jesus. Jesus. W- it, Jesus is the Father, the Son. The, the, the Holy Spirit. Ghost, the, the whole, the, the whole Trinity, the Dad, the Kid, and the Spook. Okay, you don't, you don't sit there and say that the Son of God is fallible, because that's what it leads to. Because the Son of God will never commit sin. Exactly, that undermines Jesus's Jesus as the Messiah. It undermines Jesus. Well, I'll be honest, I. I don't know. I, I know there's. I know there's a lot of diehard people. Out there. What did, I don't. I don't know if it would undermine the, the whole Messiah thing, bro. Because if he was really doing the miracles out there in them in, in them books too, then it just proves that them books do got some valid points to them too. And actually. that's, that's and it, th- th- no. Because if anything, it would prove that those miracles might actually be false. Because if he's more human than divine being, he won't be able to do this. I don't. I don't thing. believe that. It could go either way. I, I, really I believe I could sit there and he could be a divine being. And still, and to me, that would actually he could have in, in my him. eyes it would it would raise him an, an, another step in in my eyes because it, it, to me one it will legitimize you know of course it'll have proof of okay this is the blood the blood running through this person's veins whoever it is is the the holy grail of or whatever the fuck you want to call well, it. the holy is, grail would be Mary Magdalene yeah, okay but the, but the it descendant would be the yeah. descendant of Jesus Christ meaning that that person was true and and then you could sit there and go i mean granted again it's to me cool. i'm more of a uh, 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 like you're I like more to progressive have, than i like than, to have fact yeah. not saying i don't believe in jesus christ not saying I, I i i don't because i do um but there would be more validity behind it than just the teachings of a priest or something in the bible stuff i like agree that. but look at all look at all the people it would like throw through, the world into like a, a whole. It lot. would look at. I'm getting a weird flash of deja vu for some reason. But look at all the people throughout history that the Catholic Church has slaughtered in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name in of the, God, not it, Jesus Christ. Both, both. But you didn't believe in Jesus was just as bad as not believing in God. 
Or if you had a different God and you said Jesus wasn't the Messiah, that was just as bad. You were put to death. Billions of people, the Catholic Church through history, put to death because of the idea that Jesus was a divine human. And you know what the crazy part is, too? Just just to throw this in, in out there, too. The whole, you know what the role of the Messiah is, too, right? No, bring no. the world together. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, but he go, but you know, I, I thought it was like, a trick question. I'm like, yeah, I'm saying, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> no, no, no. we all stared at him like he's gonna pull some shit out yeah, of him. Nope. The, the whole SpongeBob mean like, I guess everybody got quiet, and I'm just like, wait, yo, <laughs> to be <laughs> honest, like, I thought he was yeah. gonna say some kind of Ligma joke, like, nah, nah, <laughs> <laughs> nah. Suppose it's supposed it says that he's gonna be like rounding, he's gonna round up everybody that's bad and just like kill everybody, bro, and then kill everybody. Not kill, you're going to descend into. Beyond Bro, you are then. gonna, you are not gonna exist anymore. It depends on what you believe. It goes right back to what you believe. Exactly. Ble- 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 the Messiah will come, round up the true believers. He will guide them to heaven, leaving everyone else behind to fend for themselves. And eventually, if you don't go to he- like at that point after the Messiah comes, they shut heaven's gate, and you're either alive or you're in hell. Like that's one belief. Which I don't understand that belief. I don't understand. There's a lot of it's, it's I don't not, understand. I feel, like, I feel like sometimes when people say these things, I feel like it's a contradiction of what God was supposed to be. God, listen, you want to look at shit in the Bible as contradiction, yes. There's thousands of them. Just yeah. take the story of Noah's Ark. Yeah. Right? You could take it as him being petty the entire time. Oh, yeah, especially in the first, in the oh, first yeah. half. In the, in the Old Testament, it's like God was a wrathful fuck. And then after he had the kid, he calmed down. Right, but look at the story of Noah. You're gonna sit there and tell me. He only needed to get some to calm down. Hold on a second. You're gonna sit there and tell me that he's going to flood the earth because he's gonna start everything over again. He Suppos- tells supposedly supposedly because of, supposedly because everything was already plagued because of right. like I get angel, that because of angels and I stuff, got that like fucking he, up at all. His shit. He tells Noah, gather your shit, build a boat, gather get two shit. of every animal, take your family, and for forty days and forty nights it's gonna fucking rain. A lot. And then I'm going to flood the world. It's a fucking hard reset, and you're going to reset humanity. Excuse me. I just have one question. Fishermen existed. You're going to sit there and tell me that after you flooded the fucking world, that the guy who owns a couple of boats didn't just jump on his boat and ride it the fuck out? It makes no sense. Like, there's if you look at it Scripture... It was that bad of a storm, bro. If you look at Scripture logically... None of it makes sense, which is why I interpret it as symbolic stories. Did Noah exist? Did he build a fucking boat? Probably not. Could've. That's only my interpretation yeah, of it. He could have. He could have, but did he flood the fucking world? Well, just no, like, absolutely it, it not. Was, it's just like but don't they, you believe but don't the story have, like, of Moses. Don't they have like, uh, like, ge- like geological proof that like the, the world really did flood at one point? The, the, there's geological proof that there floods have happened, but not all at once. Yeah. Like, yeah, the, the part of the Middle East flood at one point. Yeah, Montana used to be a fucking ocean billions of years ago. B- well, what are millions, billions? What dinosaurs roamed around then? But that was then. Dinosaurs. Yeah, a billion years ago, you know, all, you know what this, I mean? all the countries and continents were all together with Pangaea, too. Exactly. So, yeah, there have been floods, massive floods. And we're slowly all floods. becoming back into one continent again. Yeah, we're going to be a new Pangaea. I mean, just look at fucking, you look at the story of Adam Pangeas. and Eve. Jesus. The story of Adam and Eve is a New contradiction Gia. in and of itself. Yes. The Cain and Abel, who are they fucking? Nobody. But it doesn't say the. That yeah, word. I brought. I brought up that point. The other. Yes. Uh, the uh, next the thing you day. hear is that they're both happily married. And they have wives, and you just think to you, where the fuck yeah, they yeah. come from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. It go. It goes that, like Cain killed a, kill, k- Cain killed Abel, and then after that, h- him and his wife went to go and make. The, these the the can the canines Canaanites the Canaanites but then you but the problem but is that you, exactly like you said like where the hell did the wife come from right but you, the problem is and this wasn't this, it only four people on the earth this is my this is me talking now I'm saying that it's a problem I'm not saying that this is my opinion of it the problem is you have um, preachers churches and sects of faith who preach that that's the truth. That what you read in the Bible is literal. If you add up all the ages of all the people in the Bible, it's only 6,000, and that's how old the earth is. That's the problem I have with religion. 
is people take it and interpret it. And I'm going to say it, I and it's going it to sound wrong. Wouldn't it but, be older? Because they didn't say, like, some people live for, like, eight, 900 years. That's also shit? true. But this is also, I'm going to sound wrong when I say this, and you, there's going to be an argument, but I don't care. This is why they are wrong in their belief. Now, you can't tell us that somebody is wrong. You're absolutely right. I can't say Ooh. that you're wrong for what you believe. Like believers? No, no. When they sit there and go, well, the earth is 6,000 years old. God planted dinosaur bones here to test our faith. And that the world flooded. And Adam and Eve had Cain and Abel. And that's it. Well, where the fuck everyone else come from? But they don't want to answer that question. They believe these things. They believe the Bible forbade them. And I have to sit there and go, you're wrong. I'm sorry. That's not the way the world works. You can't have two sons and then populate the world. The world did not flood and you brought two of every animal in the fucking boat. That didn't happen. And I can have anybody out there argue with me. There's groups of people on this planet in this fucking country that believe that the earth is 6,000 years old and dinosaur bones were put here to test our faith. No, they fucking weren't. I'm not one of those people. No, I know you're not. And a lot of them... I don't want to say a lot of them. A majority of them get militant when you tell them that they're wrong. I'm not wrong. Sorry. Yes, you are. I'm not wrong. I that can't. Was some passion. I can't. Right? Like you felt that. And again, you, 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 felt, you felt. If that, you're right? out there and you're listening to me and you don't agree with me, that's fine. Challenge him. Challenge him on Twitter. I on can't TikTok. respect people who have that kind of mentality. I can't. I immediately think that you're an ignorant person and you're choosing to be ignorant because That's dinosaur the- bones are billions of millions of years old. Yeah, but you know what? The, yeah, but the expression goes, "Ignorance is bliss," bro. No, I know that. But I'll, I'll, be, like, I'll be very honest with you. God I'll be giving right. No, no, I agree. No, no, like, no, I will be, sit and there and, be, and defend and I will that. I'll be honest with you, bro. Like when you like when you really remain ignorant to things, like you really live a better life. You know, like, <laughs> no, I agree with that 100. percent You just like yo, you know what? Like I'll give a fuck. Fuck it. No, I agree. It's with like 100%. yo, he can't. It's like yo, man. He said it was born. It was born from a virgin. Mind. Hey, man. That's what it happened. Is. It and, happened. And to your point, Joey, that's what they believe. Yes. And I will. This is the United States of America. They have the right to believe that. Religious freedom. And I Woo! would defend them in a. If I had to defend them in a public court, the, the defend their belief, their right to believe in it, the, 100% I would. But then I would turn around and go. Religious freedom. Woo! I don't respect them, but I believe in their freedom to have that belief. Woo! I don't believe in it because it makes no fucking sense and it goes against everything that's Free. natural. First well, Amendment. Then, but they have the right to believe. Well, see, it, it, you have to, you, it, it goes. So how does this go back to Mary? What I'm saying, it, 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 all, <laughs> it all, okay, it all stems from from that because you can sit there and like and, Joey said, everything this season is going to spiral out of control from the, one topic well, to the, another. The reason is yeah. because it all goes back to, especially when you talk about religion, you talk about all this stuff about religion. Now it goes back to belief. And yeah, you, the, yeah. you could spiral it out of control because it always knocks down. It's like a domino effect. It always knocks down to the next point of belief. And you're talking about the Bible. And then when you talk about the Bible, you're talking about is it real compared to uh, uh, whether they're stories just to teach something. and then Or is it factual yeah. and literal? So it, 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 it all knocks down to each other. And to get back to your point is, you know, they believe that and you can't believe that. And. It, then you have the next person, like like you have Josh, who will sit there and say, "Well, the man, you know, that man you like, Jesus Christ, your you favorite know, he, man, you know, your favorite man." So it it again, there's, it's a domino effect with that also. So again, when it religion's comes, religion's very finicky. When it comes, to, excuse me, religion and belief. Again, you you can't tell somebody they're wrong for what they believe in. No, no, no. Yes, you can. Well, you, no, you can't. You, you can't. Well, you can, but you're gonna be, late, but you're gonna be looked at as a wrong person. Yes, you're 100 percent right. I can mm-hmm. sit there and go, "You're wrong for believing that because it makes." I'm no not sense. wrong. But at the same token, in this country, we have the freedom of religion. That's the First Amendment. They have the right to think that way. It is what it is. Not to get off topic, but I just have one question. One answer. Right? Maybe. Here we go. We 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 take for we take that Christianity. Regardless of its form, Catholicism, Episcopal, uh, Episcopal, whatever the f- Episcopalian, Lutheran, all of them, right? Uh-huh. Put them in, put them in one pot. Rastas. We we have Jews. We you have said that with a little twin. No, no, no. no. <laughs> we have Jews. We have Muslims. Jews. People of the Muslim faith. Like I'm just I'm listing off like the big 
there's like five religions that dominate the world, right? Well, the big, well, the big six. three that the, six, the big three, that the, you, the big three being the Abrahamic the Muslims, and Jewish, and those are those Jewish, are Abrahamic Muslim, religions, Christians, right? And then Hinduism, yeah. right? Buddhism. Buddhism. Oh, what's the last one? What's the last one? Yeah, I'm 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 drawing a blank Atheism on Atheism would be a big thing. No, it's too. not. That's not a religion. But where I'm going with this is there's a we used a to be, like, like we we teach our kids that stuff. Well, we used to, but. Growing up, I was taught this stuff like Egyptian gods, Greek gods, Roman gods, Norse gods. They were all Aztec gods. They were all gods that were created because the people of that time didn't understand how the world works because of science. They didn't have it. So they believed, okay, that's the god of the sun. That's the god of the moon. That's the god of the plants. That's the god of the water, whatever, whatever. And then like, I, and then like how you said, everybody else just ran it up and just said, fuck okay. you. Right, now, now all of guy. those things, Egyptian all of them have been put to the side like they're not real. We know they're not real. Joey. When did Norse... Go ahead. What? Okay. And when he's done, okay, go on a rant. Yeah. It's not going to be... It's not going to be that rant like Dad had. Oh, God. Hold on. But here's my, here's my question. Yeah, yeah. So when we put all those religions and said that's the old way of thinking, they're not real, and these are the major six that dominate the world now, when did Norse... Mythology becomes so popular all of a get all of a sudden. I don't, like I have seen a huge Pop influx culture, media. I, I'm, like, I, 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 like, are these people believing in the Nordic gods, or are they believing in the aesthetic of the Nordic gods? No, it's the aesthetic. I believe it's aesthetic. Actually, nobody's sitting. Nobody's sitting there believing that Thor. Who Thor. said that actual Nordic religion or Nordic mythology died? No, I'm not it saying. Okay, never, there's, there's, I know. I, that. Okay, I know. There, there's people out there that probably still sit there and there's an entire manga based on like. Yeah, they're, they're, now. They're, they're probably okay. It's um, great and Valhalla. And yeah, shit. I, I, Vinland, there's Vinland there's Saga. people Vinland out there who who sit there and probably still believe in uh, Aztec not religion uh, or or Norse religion or or you know all these religions. There's, there's I guarantee there's people who still out there believe in that. Not saying there isn't, because you know, yeah, especially some with people, the internet, especially with the internet, yeah, exactly. Nowadays. Sure, but it's not as at the popularity as it used to. Well, I've seen an uptick when it comes to the North mythology, and the reason that is is because of pop culture and and the media as what it is today. So right? you think it's more of these people are more in line with. Yeah, think about the it. The aesthetic versus the actual mythology behind yeah, the aesthetic. Yeah, think about it, bro. A few years ago, people were witches all over the place. Now, now they're Vikings. Yeah, I mean, it's the thing. Okay, so you had Thor come I out. Lo- I got a lot of people on, on I know, like where they they rock the Mjolnir around their neck, like it's a crucifix. And I'm they, like, they have they have Thor come out. Thor came out, <clears throat> did a big thing with that. And, uh, what was the? I don't know if it's the, the well. There same was the thing. Viking show. Then you have God of War. Now's God of set War in the Viking uh, era, era. Percy Jackson, I think, is that one of them? That's the Olympians. That's, Olympians. Yeah, okay. that's different. Yeah, same thing. You know, it, yeah, it, it all comes down to the same type of uh, of shit. The, so, it, media in itself. Makes what's popular as no, right now. You're but, sitting why it's there. called pop culture. But I want to hear what Sito says. So this this that actually ties into my rant is that overall, I when it comes to those religions and Norse is one of the biggest things when you actually look at it. Tor- Norse like the North Norse mythology never technically died. It was just combined with religion like Christianity. Well, that's what a lot of them did. Yeah, yeah. but if you actually look at the stories, right? Mm-hmm. Like, um, someone did a comparison of stories and now. And looking at it, it was very interesting how, like, the whole North myth- Norse mythology got the Tree of Life, and then you got the Eden. Which is the Garden yeah. of Life. The Garden of Life, all that. You know, you have the tree, you know, the trees with the apples and all that. Mm-hmm. You have a serpent, you have Jormagender. Yeah. The yeah. two things. But it's overall, um, even back then, though, like, which always interests me that literally sometimes there was Vikings that would say, I am a Christian on land, but I pray to Thor on the sea. Mm-hmm. Like stuff like that is like, I, I don't know. It's just a slight rant that I just wanted to go on because so, it, it goes on to what, what you're saying is basically is because of the the combination of of the stories into the Christian uh, Chris, Christian religion. It's the it's Norse people believe in the Norse stories through Christianity. No, 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 other way. No. I, it could be an other way around effect because mm-hmm. technically, if you want to count it, the North myth, the Norse mythology came slightly before Christianity was developed, or at least the widespread of it. I just want to say fuck you, Josh, for not being here tonight because I would really want to hear his opinion on this. 
Because I know oh, he, yeah. he, he can't lot. hear anything. <laughs> yeah, he'll <laughs> be <laughs> fine. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Josh. But we're going to take a short little break real quick, and we'll be right back. Hello, all. This is JC3 from Is This Real? Do you want to start your own podcast? Then look no further than Buzzsprout.com. We here at Green Hour Media use Buzzsprout, and we love the team at Buzzsprout. They are all about helping you succeed. Buzzsprout gets your show listed in every major podcast platform. Follow the link in our show notes to let Buzzsprout know that we sent you. It gets you a $20 paid Amazon gift card if you sign up with a paid plan and help support our show. Join us and over 100,000 podcasters already using Buzzsprout.com to get your message out to the world. If you're looking for a dining experience like no other in the North Jersey area, Sopranos Pizza and Restaurant is your place. Located at 400 Minutes in Road in Toto, New Jersey, Sopranos offers pizza, sandwiches, Italian delights such as specialty pizzas, seafood, soup, salad, burgers, sides, and much, much more. Free delivery on all orders, more convenient ordering online. Download the app on Google Play or in the Apple Store and track your order. Or if you prefer, just stop by and pick it up. Either way, Sopranos Pizza and Ristorante in Totowa always satisfies. Pleasant staff, exceptional atmosphere, and great food. Open 10 to 10 every day. Visit their website at www.SopranosPizzeriaMenu.com or phone 973-256-7115. That's 973-256-7115. Sopranos Pizza. Give it a try. And we are back. So to bring back Mary Magdalene, yes, you know, yes. You know, we got a little tangent on that. But like I said, th- these episodes are going to go back and forth between all that because religions are very hard to sit there and not tie together and just talk about and complete. So these next six episodes, or you know, from Come. where we started, six episodes might just feel like one giant fucking episode. Might that's what it might do. Just yeah. switch in people here and then and. Yeah, just switching, you know, I'll be here most mm-hmm. of the fucking time. Um, so let's go back to Mary Magdalene. Let's, again, give our, our, our point of views from everybody here. So, Anthony, I'll start with you. What is, from, from your point of view, do, do you believe in this conspiracy theory of Mary Magdalene and, um, and the stories of, of you know, these, these theories that, that came up? It's hard to say with a definitive yes or no. And I'm going to say that because we don't have a lot of evidence to say that it's true. We have the Gnostic Gospels, which we know have been written as an alternative view on Jesus' divinity that were put to the side and not included in the Bible. So that's a point that says maybe there is something there. The way you interpret the Bible, which is everyone's got their own way of interpreting it. You can interpret that, you know, it says that she was Jesus' partner. Or, or she was closest to Jesus, does that mean something closer like, you know, a wife? Who knows? So I can't put interpretation there. But then you look at something like the Priory of Sion, which has a mission that's been going on. And it's like the the idea of what the Knights Templar did after the fall of Jesus Christ and um, they were supposed to protect the Holy Grail and how that's been lost to history. Mm-hmm. These secret societies like the Priory of Sion or something like the Knights Temple existed for a reason. We don't know what that reason is. And if it has something to do with Mary Magdalene, then I would in- be inclined to say that, yeah, Jesus had a closer relationship with her. And maybe there was a child that came out of that. And... Let's face it. You put this guy to death. If you find out he's got a kid, you're putting that kid to death. You're wiping this motherfucker off the map because that's what they believed in then. It's scorched earth. You really about to turn this into real life One Piece right now, bro. (laughs) I don't don't know what you mean, but okay. Hey, yo. That's one one anime I never got into. That's that's, 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 that's Bold Roger, what you talking about. And then the the future descendant. Is Ace is gonna be the future protagonist of the world story, bro? And we're just side. But then there's gonna be some guy that's gonna punch a hole in him. All right. Anyway, anyway, like I was getting to, 
Um, e. The one piece home. of the Holy Grail. When you have, when you have, you have a lot of these pieces on the board, and you can weave a great story and say that they're all connected, and you can interpret things to. Doesn't Jesus win though? Um, you can interpret things differently to add to your story, but until we find, <laughs> until we find for sure that there is a descendant of Jesus Christ out there. Until we find for sure a true lineage, whether it is historical texts or a genealogy that's been traced from the time of Christ to modern day, I can't sit here and say that that's, also, that's the definite truth. Holy Blood, Holy Grail was a good book that p- proposed this very intricate idea. Oh my God, what's your answer? But I don't. I, I guess my true answer is I don't know. I, I believe that Jesus was a man, and men are fallible. Um, Jesus could have dipped his wick if he wanted to. Do I believe that Mary Magdalene was what a? What the fuck does that mean? Means, what? It means Jesus could have been fucking. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. But was was Mary Magdalene a prostitute? I, again, I don't know. This is historical shit from a time in history that we don't have enough evidence to back that claim up or not. We don't know well, what really happened. What what time period are you guys assuming this happened in? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I was, I was well, again, for this. Hold on, hold on. There is a time period in the Bible where we we from I think it's from the age of thirteen to thirty that we don't know what Christ did. That's true. There is a time ga- allegedly a time those, jump. Yeah. In, in the story of Jesus Christ from age 13. Here's, here, Yo, my my man really does the post-time skip, bro. Yeah. There's a story. I, have, I don't know which Gnostic. Die. Allegedly. I didn't read all the Gnostic Gospels, but allegedly there's a story in the Gnostic Gospel. I don't know which one. Where someone que- Jesus was young. He was like 13, 14 years old. Someone questioned his divinity because he said he was the son of God. And, and Jesus threw him off a roof and killed him. Oh, oh, shit. And then oh. brought him back to life and went... Believe me now, bitch. Like there is a, I, I, you have to do your homework. But I, if I no, right, that there's like a story that Jesus killed somebody and brought him back to life to prove that he was the Son of God. It's one of those miracles, but it also shows a wrathful Jesus. So they want that in the Bible. I guess my sh- my my summary, my I'm short answer gonna, is this. I'm not gonna lie. That's I, a badass way. To <laughs> that is a very badass way to. How was hell, motherfucker? Now he said, "Yo, you ain't the Son of God." Bad. <laughs> and then just brought him back. Yo, Yo, I was like, what I'm was saying- Jesus doing on the roof? He was a carpenter, <laughs> not a masonry guy. <laughs> That's true. I was thinking is like he wasn't a roofer. The guy gets down to hell. He's just seeing the devil, and like the devil's like, oh, and he just mm. and then he just zoops back like, up. You're here. You weren't supposed to be here for another. Never mind. How ironic is it that a carpenter so was put to like death by being them. nailed to wood? Anywho, Cito, your your answer, <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> Yo, for real, what was your answer? All that, and, what, and we still never got your answer. We never got He's on it. the fence. He's I, on, okay. I'm on, I'm on he's the a, fence. He's on the fence. I am leaning more towards... The fence. I'm leaning more towards that <laughs> Jesus did have a child with Mary Magdalene, and Mary Magdalene a fence. got a very bad rap. Well, look at the size. Of course the fence is <laughs> Okay, it's a tipped fence. Okay. Uh, fence. Mary Magdalene Next. was... Next. Got a very Next. bad rap. He doesn't shut the fence, right? I don't. Next, please. <laughs> All right, so for me, it's uh, I don't Love know. Love you, Tony. Shut. I know, I know. I can, I can go. When it, when it kind of comes to all of, summarizing, I guess I could say I agree with Tony a little bit. Like I can, like when I'm thinking about overall, like just Christian stories and Bibles and all that. Like we've seen countless times, man succumb to man things, Adam and Eve, all that. That was a woman. But, yep. <laughs> but one thing was was you know one thing that you could say was freedom of choice, yada yada yada. I don't know. I kind of agree, with Tony. My only thing and was you know it, these days you have to separate the two now. All right. It was freedom of choice, but bitch, you made the wrong choice. <laughs> My thing why is, give it me a choice at all? It was her only choice. Okay. Go on. Okay. <laughs> My she thing could is, have said to Satan, "Stick the apple up your ass," but she didn't. Turn off his mic, please. <laughs> That's fair. Turn my mic off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So my thing is, if there is a bloodline of Jesus, we will never find it. That's 
probably the best thing because genealogy only can go far, so far back. True. Like, we are in 2022, and technically, if you're looking at it, that happened in, what, near the year 1? Well, yeah, 1 two, AD. 2,000 yeah. years ago. Yeah, 2,000, 2000 years ago. Well, it depends on how, how far genealogy can go back. Well, let me put it like this. I did the ancestry in our family. How I got go back? I got back to 1901, and then it goes back to Italy, and there's no fucking records. Now, I'm sure I have to go to Italy to find some records, but what's available to me right now through the paid website is dick. So, like, we're having trouble figuring out how people came. Well, your ancestry, but there's other ancestries. No, but I mean, what I'm, I'm just back. using it as an example that we are having problems figuring out what happened to people 125 years ago. Well, no, they're having problems finding what happened to the Kaolas 125 years ago. Yeah, yeah no, and I'm sure that's a lot. Else. Yeah, that it, it applies. Yeah, we're not the only ones. So, if we're if our ancestors, if our genealogy records are that fucked and it's only 100, 100 years or so. You're talking about two thousand years. Yeah, think about it, right? And no like, one's walking the amount around of the how the bloodline in this case is so diluted. Mm. That's another thing: the dilution of the bloodline. And if it if there is a bloodline, how much people are there are the descendant of Jesus? Yeah, that is a lot of people from the year one to today. Yeah, you're talking about genetic markers that are two thousand years old. Even if we had something with Jesus's blood on it, and we knew it for sure, and we had a descendant. What is the fucking percentage that it would match? You know what I mean. At this point, probably be like what ten. No, I would say like less, less. than a point. Ten is like I'm just tossing it up. Just my point is, if it matches, it fucking matches. It mattered. Try it anyway. Yeah, but are he... I'm not gonna walk on water. We won't know. Point. We won't know. Yeah, I'm not talking. You are not the descendant of Jesus Christ. We don't know that. Wes, what's your thought on it? I'm on the fence. Okay, he's, he's gonna be the next One Piece character. Angry. <laughs> He's just keeping his... If I talk that much, he wants to be the opposite. He talk the least. Yeah. I'm on the fence. Short, right. sweet so, answer. I'll, I'll, no I'll, explanation, I'll, just fence. I'll, I'll play I'll, I'll play the mid. I mean, again, this is something that you can't sit there and... We could sit there and prove. Because, again, there's so many things that are against us. But, I mean, I, I guess you'd like to call it a, a progressive Catholic, I guess, that is... It's certainly not traditional. Traditionally, it would be like, no, it's the son like of God. Bernie and she's Sanders a whore. of Catholics. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, I want. Never mind. Bernie Sanders is Jewish. <laughs> Just smoke. Smoke your thing. <laughs> Why hasn't Jesus come forward? We don't understand most of the things that Jesus has done. There are many things that Jesus has done that we don't get. I'm gonna make the priests pay. That's what I'm going to do. All now, Catholic churches will pay their taxes. Anywho. Uh, so, I mean, like I said, it, it could be. You know, uh, there could be a descendant. I mean, am I going to sit there and say no? Am I going to sit there and say uh, yay or nay? You can't. I mean, you could sit there and have this debate all day. Um, would I like there to be? That's a question you can you can ask. I, to me personally, Yes. Because it just has the validity, to me, to me at least, to sit there and go, look, Jesus was man and divine. No, all you're proving at that point is he was man. Doesn't question his divinity. Unless his descendant, and we know for a fact that, that is Jesus' blood in this person, unless that person is doing the fu- is doing like tap dancing on a pool or, ch- or changing like, you know, water into fucking... Yes, Chris Angel. That's his descendant. No, that's not Chris Angel. Chris Angel's an asshole. <laughs> Like, look, I turned water into Red Bull. Like, sit down, Jimmy Christ. Like, unless we knew that for sure, all you're going to prove is that Jesus sired a child. You would not be able to prove the divinity of Christ. Well, you know, that's but you where my it, belief will come in. And well, yeah, of course that. What does sire mean? Because the way that you just said that does not sound right. To sire a child it means to have a kid. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I just needed to know what that meant because it just Anywho, didn't sound Next right. week's episode, ladies mm-hmm. and gentlemen, it's going to be fun. What Guess what we're talking episode? about next week what episode, guys? About? I forgot about the whole schedule. I'm going to be honest. We're talking about the Antichrist. Oh, my God. Oh! <laughs> See me next week. So we're talking about Jesus Christ's potential kid this week and the Antichrist next week. Mm. We know how to play it, don't we? Yes, we do. Mm. So, anywho, for all yes. of us here at Is This We're Real, having fun next week. Oh, yeah, we are. Not from that kind of, of fun. here at Is This Real, uh, I would just like to say, question everything. And we'll see you guys next week. Good night, everybody. Oh, yeah, to me. Night, everyone.
Konnichiwa, bitches. It's Ryu West speaking. If you want to find out more about the Is This Real podcast, follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash isthisrealpc or on Twitter at isthisrealpc or on Instagram at isthisrealpodcast, all one word. <laughs>